Hello, I'm Martin Bruton from Gloucester County Council's Trading Standards Service. Welcome to day 10 of our 12 days of Christmas advice from Trading Standards. Today, we're looking at doorstep sales. Not all doorstep callers are genuine. Some are going to be bogus salespeople, and you need to watch out for techniques that some shady doorstep sellers will use to try and make a sale and gain entry to your house. Look out for phrases which try to frighten you by suggesting your home is not secure. You know, I've got a roof, uh, loose tile on the roof, mate. All right, cheers, thank you. For sure, it's good fixing. No matter how persuasive the people are at the door, never say yes on the spot. You've no way of knowing if they're genuine, if they're capable, or if the price is reasonable. Tell them you'll want to get a second opinion, no matter how urgent the work is. A genuine trader will accept this. And, bef and before you go ahead, go and contact a few local firms and get all the quotes, compare the price, and also you can check out locally who comes recommended and who's reputable in your community. One of the other tricks that the bogus caller will use is to try and claim they're working for an official body. They may claim to be working for the council or to from the gas board or the water board. The water board and gas board haven't existed for quite some time, so anybody who uses that line should be treated with suspicion. If somebody does claim to be from an official organisation such as the council, then ask to see identification and contact the organisation directly. Do not use the information they provide on their, their identity card. It can be faked. In summary then, no matter how persuasive the doorstep caller is, you have to be in control and you have to make your decision. You might want to give time for yourself to go away and find out from another local trader whether the work needs doing and get a fair price in comparison before agreeing to any work. Don't ever sign under pressure. You'll, you can end up regretting it for a long time by having poor quality work done and having great difficulties getting the trader back to do work for you. Log on tomorrow to see day 11 of our Christmas advice from Trading Standards.